Irish elk is an interesting species. Is it another solely Irish or even an elk? They were, in fact, actually a species of deer that lived in northern Eurasian forests and bogs during the Pleistocene era, approximately 1.8 million to 11,500 years ago. The animal became associated with the Emerald Isle when the first fossils were found in a peat bog 18 miles north of Dublin by French scientist Thomas Molyneux in the 1690s. The fossils in the bog were extremely well preserved and many full skeletons exist today. These early fossils became the basis of the theory of extinction, which was widely unpopular at the time it was proposed. The animal was physically massive, measuring a height of 7 feet at the shoulder and weighing in at over 1,500 pounds. Its antlers were proportionately large at 12 feet in length and 100 pounds in weight. There is debate among the scientific community as to the role of the Irish elk's antlers in sexual selection. The antlers, the largest of any animal ever, were once believed to be only used to spar with other males to gain new mates. However, a small minority now believes that the antlers were used for looks rather than fighting. Its coloration is similar to that of a modern deer, but slightly darker. The deer lived and traveled in herds much like modern deer. Also similar to modern deer, it played the role of an herbivore, feeding on grasses and shrubs and leaves. However, unlike the modern deer, it was not hunted by anything, probably due to its large size. The Irish elk is believed to evolve the Megaloceros antecedens, which is smaller than the Megaloceros giganteus, which is the Irish elk, but much larger than the modern deer. Its closest living relative is believed to be the modern European deer. The deer's massive antlers were at the center of the orthogenesis debate, which denied natural selection and claimed that animals just kept getting bigger attributes, such as the antlers on the Irish elk or the teeth on a saber-toothed cat. The antlers are an example of balancing evolution, as although they were useful for attracting mates in sexual selection, they often got caught in the dense forest, leading some scientists to believe that this entanglement led to their extinction. Other scientists believe that the deer died in the last great ice age of the Pleistocene era due to widespread starvation as many grasses died in the cold.